Evet, şu. Sure. Okay, let's talk about this question. It can be easy for you. I don't know, but I don't know your level. Just we can solve this question. Uh, three point charts are located at the corners of an equ equilateral triangle. Equilateral angle dediğimiz şey şuradaki ya tabii ki hepsinin aynı uzaklıkta olduğu equal'dan gelen bir şey. In the figure, calculate the, uh, calculate resultant electric force on the uh, seven microcoulomb charge. Hmm, I hope I can draw it here. It's okay. We will talk about from here. Uh, sorry, ne çalışıyor? Okay, perfect. Uh, this is positive and this one is positive. Of course, they will repel each other. Can I show there is a force here? Say this is F1. And the other one, of course, this one is also effect uh, to uh, effect to uh, this charge. Okay, one of them is positive, the other one is negative. They will attract each other. Of course, they will attract each other. I can say this is F2. Uh, of course, force is vector quantity. I have to split its components. How can I, I split its components? I can draw it with, anyway, I will not use different color. Okay, so you can start, you can start to split F1. One of them is this one, F1X, and the other one is F1Y. And you need to also split this part, F2x and F2y. So, sorry, F2y. So, uh, you will have x components and y components. I will write here for x component, x component, I have say f uh, f net x equal f1 x plus you can see what of them is going to positive x isn't it yes so you can write uh, positive uh, f2 x and also i can write y component here so for y component i can say F net y, and you can see F one y is going to positive y, and F two y is uh, is going to negative side. So can I write like this? F two F one y minus F two y. Just uh, please be careful for this angle. Maybe we can check the angle. There, is there any angle? We, anyway, we will see it. Uh, okay, I want to check the uh, angle. Oh, okay, so there is uh, some hint here, an equilateral triangle. What's the equilateral angle? Of course, this is 60 degree and 60 degree. And also this part is 60 degree. Okay, if this part is 60 degree, how can I write it? Uh, I can say if this part is 60, of course, this part is 60. And also you can say this part is 68 degree. Okay. So now I think I can split easily. I can write F1X, F1 cos... 60 plus, look at the F2x, where is the F2x? Uh, F2 is here, be careful for this one. So you can see this is cos theta. So F2 cos 60, you can write like this. Just we need to put to that information. I know K, just for force, I can write the formula K, Q1, Q2 over the distance. Okay, so difference is easy, 0.5. And for F1, Q1, uh, so Q1, uh, say this is my Q1, uh, minus 4, multiply 7 uh, 
micro column. But be careful, you need, you need to convert this one to column. So how can you convert it? Just you need to multiply with 10 to minus six uh, column. Okay, just you need to convert all of them and then you can put all information here. I will not spend time because all information on the other slide. Just I will show how can you write the, um, this part. Okay, just I will write again here. Look at the Fnet Y. What's the Fnet Y? Uh, this part, this is 60 degree. This 60 degree is here. So I can say F1 Y, F1 sin 30, sin 60 minus, look at the F2 Y and the angle here, the 60 and it's going to here. Can I say F2 multiply sin theta? Okay. So uh, when you find the F, by x, I will show with the other slide. Okay, look at here. You can write f net using the f one x and f net sorry f net uh, f net x and f y uh, net. But be careful, you need to add also unit vector. You can see from here. This is my unit vector. This uh, i is my unit vector. Just it represents the x component, and z is the unit vector, which represents the uh, represents the unit vector for y uh, for y component. Okay. So when you put all the information here, you can see that part. I will not spend time to put math information here. Just I will show it. You are clever guys. You can solve easily. And then, firstly, your Fnet uh, X is 0.75 uh, Newton. And for F, uh, Y component is minus. What does it mean minus? So you can say, I can show here. Just I draw the x uh, y coordinate system. So this is positive x, okay, positive y, minus x and minus y. So uh, this is positive, okay, and y is minus. It must be here, isn't it? Can I show like this? It's my F net is going to uh, going to uh, going on this coordinate system because this part is positive x you can see this is positive and the other one is uh, minus can I show F net with this way yes you can show it how can we calculate the magnitude yani magnitude neydi arkadaşlar büyüklüğünü nasıl hesaplıyorduk? Okay, uh, we have to know this one uh, for all vector. Just you need to take the uh, x component square and y component square and then you need to take root of square. Finally, you can calculate its magnitude. And we, when we put all information, your magnitude return this one. And sometimes they can ask the angle, what's the this angle? Say this is theta. Okay, say this is theta. How can we calculate it? So this part is f x, f net x. This part is f y. So can I say, just you, I will sh show from here. Okay, f x and f y. And I will try to find uh, the angle, this angle. So, can I say tan angle, tan theta equal Fy over Fx? Okay. When you put that information, you just, you will put tan theta, but you need to calculate theta. We want to calculate angle. So to calculate angle, you need to take arc tan, or we can say tan minus one. And when you put all information, your angle will be minus 30. 
or you can say 30. Even you can we can show from here. This is 30. What's the minus? Of course, this is minus side. Normally, I can maybe I can show here. This is 30 is here. Um, give me a second. I will change my color. If it's you know allows me. Okay, okay. Positive 30 is here. And minus 30 is here. Or it says uh, 30, uh, 330 means here. 30, 330, you can see starting from here to here. It will start from here to here. So again, design. Okay.